Hi everyone, welcome back to another day of the Perfect Week Achievement. So we're pretty close to ending this series, just two days uh, more. Um, I don't have any special building uh, equipped here. So let's jump to the easy and medium daily challenges. So um, I don't really worry about these, uh, well, the towers and the trucks in easy medium because it's going to be relatively simple to survive. So, yeah. And, uh, well, uh, after doing this, so we're pretty close, as I said before, to the end of this series because I'm gonna get the perfect week achievement in two days. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna start a new series about uh, just normal mode, okay, in Popable, uh, for beginners. So um, for players, for example, that have started the game um, recently, or that are not so far in the game and I'm gonna cover an impoppable guide through all tracks so beginner uh, you know beginner intermediate advanced expert and extreme tracks uh, in normal mode okay and uh, without any monkey lab upgrade so with zero la monkey labs upgrades and with no special buildings and of course, I'm gonna try to do uh, also um, without special agents, but I have to say right now that there are some trucks, uh, especially the um, later on, so advanced expert trucks, and uh, and extreme trucks that uh, require uh, some special agents at the beginning. Because if you don't get them, then you're gonna, a certain point in the game, you're gonna end up losing. So, that's why really uh, I think it's better to place or use, for example, some special agents, some super monkey storms, uh, instead of, you know, getting, uh, losing and having to spend 500 monkey money. Uh, of course, for the beginner, intermediate, and I think advanced tracks, I'm going to be winning. Uh, I'm going to be playing and completing everything without special agents. But the long you go on in the game, you start also getting some cash. And uh, also for the beginner players, you know, after you complete all medals in beginner, intermediate, and advanced tracks, you have some uh, monkey money. So here we go, I got here a 2-3 uh, boomerang that can destroy the leads. I got a... Uh, I got a buccaneer there too. Um, and I can, and I have a village, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna get uh, more ninjas here. Here we go, so, something like that. And I'm gonna just build a village here near all these towers. Um, okay, here we go. So I can get also the camo detention for the boomerangs, but I don't think it's gonna be needed uh, because. Uh, We have to survive just until around uh, 50 because it's, it's easy. Okay, let's go fast forward now, whatever. So 
so that is what I'm planning to do in the future with the channel I'm gonna do the series and um, I don't think I'm gonna be doing another series about master mode because I think that when you have the ability to play master mode uh, especially like not in the beginner tracks but like intermediate advanced tracks uh, you have to re really have played the game for a long time and uh, in some tracks I tried everything possible and it's just um, sometimes you just have to use uh, injections especially because in master mode you know you get less cash uh, the balloons are upgraded and uh, the combination of that is if you don't have farms early on and in a track where with certain uh, towers you can survive then you're gonna lose but here we go this is um, this is the first daily challenge here uh, on easy everything is pretty easy and uh, yeah that's gonna be it for this gameplay Um, let's jump into medium now. <clears throat> Here we go. Reward, thank you. Here we go. Medium again without special buildings uh, this should be easy too so jungle again uh, I've played jungle doing this series like two times already so this is gonna be the third time but it doesn't matter because now it's medium it's not even hard so um, okay so I didn't check the towers um, Okay, I'm gonna get here. Now, uh, how much cost the princess? Yeah. Remember, it's fine to lose lives uh, at the beginning. Oh well, you know if you, if I have lives here, and if I lose some, well, it's fine. So I'm trying to place these apprentices in a way that, as you can see, they can target uh, the balloons coming out in the top, but they can also have a little range here, so targeting the other side. These apprentices are going to be here just now in the beginning, then I'm going to get other towers. Okay, so Daltrin guns. No, Daltrin guns here are not really good. Uh, because uh, the paths here are completely uh, mirrored. So, I got bombs too. Hmm. So, what can I get here for these greens that are gonna start coming out? So I got a free bomb, uh, but I don't like placing the bombs in front of balloons that are coming out, so very close. I prefer to have like a little more range. Um, okay, let me think about the best spot here for the bombs. Okay, some lost lives, whatever, it doesn't matter. So I could get here some uh, spec factories, really, at the exit. Yeah, 
Here we go. Okay, let's get the bombs here. It's a really bad spot, I don't like it. But it's better than getting them here. Uh, so, why not? And they need to get them to uh, at least cluster bombs. So now the bombs are useful in case of that they hit the first balloon and then the cluster bombs are gonna hit the balloons behind it. So that's a cool thing. And uh, this is gonna be tricky against uh, later rounds. But I'm gonna I'm gonna think I'm gonna get these apprentices here to the fire upgrade. So uh, the fire is gonna do a, a lot of damage. So I need here to get camo detection here, here we go. And I'm gonna get it to here. Okay, now the bombs are bigger, so the explosions are bigger. I like that. And I think now I'm gonna just uh, farm up to get the the lightning. The lightning uh, is gonna change to the chain to the balloons, and it's gonna do really uh, good damage, especially when the balloons are gonna start going through. Uh, up and down as you can see the lightning is getting like everywhere here we go lightning here too okay so um i think i'm gonna start getting this spike factories here too Oh, come on. This is so bad. These plants here are so bad. Uh, I can't get it. I can't get it correctly. Because if I place it here, some of the nails are going to come here and it's going to be useless. I just want them to be... Well, I'm going to just place one then. I'm going to have to protect better at the top uh, path. Okay, let's get some missiles. Uh, so now what I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna get bombs um, Two three bombs Here we go, I got one and I'm gonna place them on strong because uh, I don't know if you know it But the mo molars can destroy ceramics in one hit So, remember that they not only do more damage to the balloons, but they also uh, well do more damage to the mobs, but they also destroy the ceramic layer in one hit.
and I think I'm gonna go another one probably here mob motor I, I, I say Let's put it on strong too. Okay, here we go. So now I've got four mob molars that are covering almost all the track. Um, waiting for the mob. So the mob should uh, get destroyed and the ceramics too. Um, by my current setup. So yeah, some blooms pass, but here we go the fire um, now the fire uh, apprentice is gonna do a lot more damage to the blooms especially the ceramic layers and the blooms are gonna get grouped so that's why I'm gonna get also the other one and now um, I think now it's time to get the 4-2 bombs so I can start stunning the balloons especially because I'm thinking about round like 63 the rushes and uh, how to survive the rushes so with the stun now I'm gonna get a stun and uh, the apprentice that's gonna do fire damage to those balloons while they're stunned So very nice and I'm gonna get also another 3-2 bomb back here uh, just to do damage too to help And that's gonna be it, I think, for the this gameplay. Um, for the BFB, I think I'm gonna get the the Phoenix, one of the Phoenixes, on. Uh, because sadly, I don't have any like good weapon to place in these nice spots. Like for example, ice towers would be awesome, but or tech shooters, you know. Okay, here we go. This is my phoenix, so I'm gonna use it for this for beat this BFB. And uh, I'm gonna until I get to round 65, where more uh, BFBs are gonna come out. I think I'm gonna get the other phoenix, so I'm gonna get two of them for round 65, and that's gonna be it for medium. And here I don't really, I'm not worried because I got the 4-2 uh, bomb that can stun the rushes here, so. Here we go, round 65. Uh, I got already the two phoenixes, as I said before, and that's gonna be it. Uh, probably I'm gonna get one of these uh, three, two bombs to four, two, just to have, you know, another stun uh, ability. Here we go, the two phoenixes, wrecking havoc, and here we go. Medium challenge completed too. 
let's jump into the hard one as I do normally so in one video I cover three challenges and uh, let's see the track and the towers so country road okay okay I like it uh, aces mortars and, and, uh, and boomerangs uh, okay okay so I think I'm gonna go with the uh, what well, it's not really surprising here when I get these heavy damage towers I think it's pretty obvious that I go with the special building of that one so getting the special building of the boomerang mm. uh, also for the mortars could be great uh, but you know it's better to get the ace so I can get the upgrades in the uh, specters that cut that cost less and uh, the machine gun also early can help a lot so I'm gonna go with the ace special building and uh, the cool thing about this track is that even though there are four different paths where the balloons are gonna come out uh, the balloons are gonna come out of one path each round so for example if I can place one ace here another one here for example another one here and another one here um, I will be covering like every part of the track so as you can see now the balloons are coming from the bot side now they're gonna come from the other side but the ace uh, as you can see has a really good path and uh, one of the paths just covers all the circle there where the balloons are gonna come together so that's why I like this track it's not so hard but of course it can be tricky if the ace just pass in a part of the ground where uh, the balloons now are coming out so So here we go, I think now the aces are almost specular, so uh, one ace is gonna cover when the other one is far away. And uh, so I don't have problems with camo because of course I can get the upgrade to spot camo. And the leads too, I, well I got the boomerangs, even though I can't place the aces Even if I can't uh, spot camo leads with the boomerangs, but it, it will not matter because camo leads are in round 58. And uh, around round 58, I will have already some specters going on, at least one. So it will be fine. Here we go, uh, I got the boomerangs already in place, so now if I want to place other aces, uh, I, won't, I will consider the, you know, the, the place covered already by the boomerang. Here we go, three, so I think I'm gonna place these ones here on the eight shape now, not on the, on the reverse eight, but on an eight movement. Um, and I'm gonna get also at least in two of these aces camo detention here we go I think that's it for camo detention I don't need anything like to get all the aces to camo detention at least for round 24 then maybe for round 33 I, I will have to But for round um, 24, not so. Let's get now these boomerangs uh, 0 2. I just need them to destroy the leads when they're gonna come out. So, even though they don't come out from the side where I'm getting the boomerangs, it will not matter because the balloons are gonna go in circles. And so, sooner or later, uh, they would face my boomerangs that can spot. And destroy lead so here we go um, 
Let's start getting now to the other two aces to spot camo for next round. And uh, I think now it's going to be time to start upgrading the aces. First, these reverse eight shape aces, the left and the right one. And then I'm going to get the, the other two. Let's get now the 3 2 upgrade. So now I won't be wasting a lot of these darts. Here we go. I'm gonna get also these uh, boomerangs to um, two three, um, because you know against the many camos they struggle, and therefore getting the boomerangs here two three uh, is gonna mean that they're gonna do a, they're gonna be more useful. They're gonna do more damage. So why not? Okay, so round 42, I got already two aces here, 3 2. Um, in two rounds, the mob is gonna come out. I think that the, bo the aces are gonna be able to destroy it, considering that they go a lot of, they spend a lot of time near the center. And that means that. They're gonna be doing. Um, A lot of damage from the machine gun too, other than the normal darts. So here we go, the mob, yeah, as I thought, it was wrecked. And I got now all the aces 3-2. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna sell two of the aces, especially the top and the bot one. Uh, they, bust, they both gave me 5k, so I'm gonna sell them both for 10k and I'm gonna get the spectre. Hopefully in round of 51, 52, something like that. So now as you can see, a lot of darts are seeking the balloons. So uh, I'm doing a lot more damage. Okay, so 8.7, uh, that should be already enough. So why not? Let's get it already. And uh, I'm going to do the same stuff as I did the last time. So even though I'm going to sell again these uh, aces that I'm placing now, but they're going to be really important in the meantime to do damage to the balloons. I'm not going to get the camo detection upgrade now that I got the Spectre, but I'm going to get them 3-0. So seeking darts. Useful. So in three, in five rounds, the camo leads are gonna come out, but I got already the spectre. That means that only one missile of the spectre is required to destroy the the balloons, and uh, if I need to, at least the layers, so the other darts of the aces can destroy the completely the the other layers. So here we go. Uh, I think I'm gonna go fast forward now. At least until I can get 5.3, 5.3, 8.6, uh, almost 10k. No, sorry, around 59 camel, it's around 58, around 59. Okay, here we go. So I can get another Spectre for before the round with the BFB. So that's gonna be awesome. Here we go. And now that I got two BFB, uh, two BFBs, two Spectres, I'm gonna place this one here. That is gonna obviously become a, a new Spectre. But I'm not gonna 
place any other spectre and sell it any other ace sorry and sell it I'm just gonna keep it this way uh, earn cash and then get everything maxed out so uh, I'm getting pretty lucky with the tower uh, selection the available towers because I always getting um, some towers that are really helpful like for example the last time for impopable I got the apprentices so the phoenixes um, or I'm getting the aces or I'm getting the um, you know world bloom cheapers or something that always is always useful to have and uh, that can make you survive easy like for example if I would get dark monkeys uh, boomerangs attack uh, shooters and uh, I don't know for example spike factories that would be really hard uh, but I think they have like some uh, minimum amount of towers that you have to need to get so that you can survive so probably like if you get a low tire tower like a dark monkey then you need to have a higher tire uh, tower so for example like a super monkey or a heli or an ace and so on so I think it's pretty balanced the, the game and uh, you always get the chance with the towers available to uh, survive there's always that chance here we go um, I got already two spectres that can spot the camo so with this one here and the next I'm gonna place I'm not gonna grade the second path I'm just gonna leave it for zero uh, I know that is not a lot of cash um, saved it's just 500 cash saved up in this way but you know it's always something with those 500 cash maybe I could get later on a uh, fourth upgrade in something who knows so around 25 um, I need here 17k to get the other specter so I think probably as it was for last games around uh, 81 82 I'm gonna get enough cash in that round And that's gonna be it for this easy, medium and hard daily challenge of the sixth day. I think this one yeah, is the sixth day. Uh, they gave me also the Buccaneers. Uh, they are useful in the, especially with the activity of the ability in the early stages of the game. But the sad thing is that uh, the activity ability can't destroy a uh, Zomega. god. It can only destroy up to a BFB. So yeah, that's sad. Okay, 780 now. Um, I should get enough cash for the Spectre at the end of this round or the next one. Yeah, next one, here we go. Okay, four spectres. Um, I'm doing a ton of damage to these BFPs, and I think also the Zomegas are gonna get destroyed. Um, so 82 from the bot side, so 83 from here, 84 from here, and 85 from the left side. Uh, what can I get here? I don't know. I think probably I can get more aces, maybe three zero aces, just to do damage to the Zomegat. Um, I can place them here. Will I get enough cash here for another Spectre, or I can sell the boomerangs? Let's go. 
Okay, so five spectres for this, oh my god. Four, I think four is already enough, but you know, why not? Let's get another one. Here we go, the hard challenge. So as always guys, stay tuned for my next video uh, for the impopable. So, see ya.